Alright, what's going on everybody? So, for today's video, we did a mukbang because we made a little bit of eggs. We did a mukbang? We're, We're doing, doing a mukbang. But yeah, anyway, we made eggs and bacon. And yeah, we're using one of Are you gonna put and everything I'm in a room? A cold brew, um, Duncan. Yeah, Duncan that Duncan. nasty shit that you made me taste. Okay. I didn't come prepared. I'm just gonna wing it like everything else I do in my life. You know what a lot of people said? That was really wasted. Prom. Like they wasted $100 for no reason. I wasted $300 on my dress. Well, damn. Worst decision of my life. I feel like prom could have been better, if anything, but prom was pretty fun. I didn't enjoy my prom, to be honest. I didn't enjoy it. It was alright. It wasn't the worst. I feel like it was really... Not stale, but like, when we were on the dance floor, you could feel it going up and down. That shit felt so unsafe. You left me hanging most of the prom. <laughs> Mm, I was looking for you half the time because you kept on wandering on. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. Because I was looking for you. <laughs> That's the funny thing. We were literally looking for each other the whole time. Through pictures, through prom itself. Because my friends would stop me and then let's take a picture and I'm like, okay. Next thing I look is, where's Matt? Yeah, and then I kept on looking for you. I was just like, <laughs> well, she's gone. Let me tell them why my prom was horrible. Prom for me was really bad because my heel broke before we were taking pictures. Oh, yeah. So my dad had to go all the way to Mo's house and um, get me another pair of um, heels. heels. And then... I was losing Matt most of the time, and I'm like, I really need to take a picture with him. And then, third, I busted my butt <laughs> going down the stairs. A lot. Because, did you know a lot of people did? I didn't realize how many people actually thought. Yeah, a lot of people thought that I was crying, but I was actually, like, hysterically laughing. And, um, there was another girl that was wearing a burgundy dress, similar as me. Mm -hmm. And she was crying, so everyone thought it was me. Because I'm um, just like, that was me. Like, I was actually laughing because it was funny. But I also got mad at Matt because the way she, he was holding my dress, it was like this. And I had a really long tail. Like, so he was just lifting it like this. Like, that wouldn't help. Mm hmm. And then what else happened? Um, I didn't really like the area. Like, um, the venue i didn't like it because it was a little too small like the dance floor was too small but the like the dinner like the table that shit was bigger than the dance floor itself yeah. <laughs> i don't know if they took out the um what was it i don't know if they took out the food so literally it was a limited food and i was hungry Oh yeah, half I the was, time, like, like the food hungry. was closed. Yeah, like I was really hungry because I didn't eat that much and then right when I came back it was closed and I'm just like... <laughs> so I was really hungry. Mm-hmm. And I was... <laughs> so yeah, that, that, the re those are the reasons why I really don't like prom. One thing I'm glad about is we graduated high school when we did because how many, if we could count how many times our school been on the news, probably, I don't know, maybe 20 times, if not more. Oh yeah, I've been on the news, right? Yeah, from the lock, from lockdowns to yeah. bomb threats to someone threatening to shoot up the school throughout the whole years, or well, all the years that um we went to CHS. There's been a good amount of times where we purposely had to stay home because <laughs> someone was starting to shoot up the school. I mean, it's, it is really scary. Well, whenever like someone threatens, I'm just like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go into the school. I think that's like my biggest fear when it came to school was someone entering that wasn't supposed to be there. Yeah. 
and it's so easy to just walk in and yeah. enter and i feel like like our class itself is really like a family like a really big family mm -hmm. i really like it because we didn't have like that many fights in our in our class um no beef we all we did was just fun we had parties every freaking week <laughs> But I had to work, so most of the time I couldn't go. Then, um... What else? What was... What was your favorite memory of high school? Mmm... Leaving. <laughs> really? Um... I don't know. It's a hard one. For me, the best part about high school or the best type of memory that I had was um uh, it's actually dance I love dance like I love my dance class even though like most of the time like I'm not like the best dancer but like I love how like us dancers we just like come together as one big family and we became friends and you know we worked hard we worked our ass off for the shows mm -hmm. I think that was like really really nice for me you guys are good though yeah thank you Go going back to prom i think that was the first time i met like all of your friends oh yeah definitely that's the first yeah. time that you met all my friends but now like we kind of hang out not yeah. on a daily basis but like almost weekly you should have vlogged all the way into um, pennsylvania yeah that would be good video. yeah that would be a good video did you bring your camera? No. no. I think because it was like it was planned last minute, so we didn't really like plan yeah. about all. Oh, let's make a video. And plus, this. like I forgot all my clothes, and <gasps> Fabio had to bring yeah. it. <laughs> oh my god! We were literally ten minutes away from the um the house the, itself. The house and the drive there is literally two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. So um. Luckily, like most of his friends were still here in New Jersey. I was the first person that yeah. left. Yeah, and we were the first person that arrived in Pennsylvania. And in right 10 minutes, <laughs> we were talking and Matthew's like, um, I think I forgot my clothes. <laughs> it literally hit me out of nowhere. I was like, I was thinking through everything. I was like, yeah, I got this, I got that, I got all the food. And I was like, wait, my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I called my dad. And my dad was like, You really want me to drive all the way there? I was like, Wait, let me see if anyone else can, uh, can come pick it up. Oh so, God. thankfully, thank you, Fabio. He came and got my Shout clothes. Out. The real and right there. he ended up getting it to uh, the house, right? And I remember Fabio carrying your clothes. He's like, How the? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> how, how the fuck did you forget your clothes? <laughs> And we were making fun of Matthew. He's like, yeah, he's just gonna walk naked around the house. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big house, though. That was a really beautiful house. We played hide and seek. Oh, maybe in that you house. can put like some little like Snapchats of it. I have little videos. I mean, you can post like there. Oh, we're walking in the middle of nowhere. Who's the first person to die? Well, you see that? <laughs> Suck my dick! Hey, suck my dick! Sick as that. Hey, suck my dick! <laughs> 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 he woke up like, yo, fuck <laughs> these niggas! <laughs> but hey, come on, you gotta eat! Yeah, that was a really like um that was a really fun experience for me. And that was the first time I actually hung out with his friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was when I actually got to like know them, know them. Yeah. It's been fun. I love your friends. 
I mean, they're probably gonna watch this. I mean, they are gonna watch this. They have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, we went to Sky Zone yesterday. That was really fun. That's gonna be the video for today, aka yesterday. All oh, this video is gonna be tomorrow, right? Yep. Yeah. Um. It's all that injuries. Yeah. Um. Hanny, um, what's wrong with Hanny? <laughs> Hanny landed on his knee funny when he was doing a back flip. Brandon was doing like a flare, landed on his toe. Grizzly! What? What happened? What happened? Why are you working? Yes. Oh, he, he just started, attention. He just started barking out of nowhere. He wants attention. He's going to sleep now. What are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even remember. Um, um, we literally said um at the same time. That's crazy. Jinxie only is one. No. Sky zone. So Hanny, his knees or his ankle? Oh, let me let me just pour some. Lemonade. No, I got the horses in the bag. No God! No God! Please no! 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 Okay, so Hanny injured his knee while doing a backflip and he landed on his knee itself. Uh, Brandon did a flare and he basically landed on his toes. Roll the clip. Matt, I'm finna be a cheerleader, watch this. You're gonna be a cheerleader? It was at this moment that Nathan knew he fucked up. Whoa. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> Fabio hurt his freaking um knees. Fabio hurt yeah. his knees? Oh my yeah, god, I thought it was only them. Yeah, because I remember after playing dodgeball, he was like touching his knees. I don't like, oh, oh, that's yeah. right. He's like, oh my god, I fucked him. <laughs> um, did Brian injure himself? Watch out, watch out, watch out! Here's the cover! No. I don't think so. Mia? No. Mia? No. Me, no. I was just too scared. Um, me and Mia were, ba were both basically scared of the foam pit. Like, I was trying to like jump and like give no fucks at all, but like, no, I couldn't. It was it was hurting. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know why, but I'm just scared of the foam pit. That's like the best part, cause like you could just fling yourself with no cares. I think this summer is probably gonna be like one of the best summers. Yeah, I think because um, since we all just, we all on the same page of just like having fun, because we hit like we're basically we hit the age of like, let's just go out and just spend time together before you know we hit the real world, mm -hmm. which is like working every day. I mean, like most of it, like I mean I do work every day, but now that I don't now that I don't have a job as of right now, it's like. It's kind of fun to just have fun for a, a bit before, you know, we go back to working and just being broke. Speaking of broke, I'm freaking broke. Yeah. So, like, I like to think things a certain way. Like, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. Everybody's here for a reason. And even though we face really hard times like maybe somebody dies maybe something happens really bad that's bad to you it's like it happens for a reason but we're just trying to figure out what that reason is and like why it happened for example hmm what's an example damn my stuff was starting to hurt just like how everybody wants to have fun be happy that's the main thing that's one thing i really realized in college people just want to be happy that's like yeah. a good 90% because college as much as I like college I like studying I'm like the opposite of Matt mm -hmm. Matt hates school I love school um but the thing that kind of like just stopped me is the amount of money that you start to owe like like I grew up with like a family that's middle class we just work 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 and I always feel bad for my parents because they have to pay for my school 
my tuition and all this so like it makes me sad even though like i want to enjoy my college it makes me sad to see my parents suffer like working like every day just to just so they can pay for my college and i think it's a little bit unfair that um some people they pay colleges um they pay the college to let them in without like they just pay them two hundred thousand dollars just so their daughter or their son can go in no not even that you can pay people and they get a degree yeah you guys know what i'm talking and about like, and that's that sucked because I think it's been happening ever since like the whole drama about the scandal about um what's his name what's her oh what's her name Olivia Jade I don't know yeah she's the one who um her mom she paid the school like almost like how much money like two hundred thousand something like some, that some 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 type and it kind of like sucked. Because like when I heard that news, I'm just like, oh, so now they're paying attention to this. Mm -hmm. Because it's been happening. Like most Ivy Leagues, like I applied for like a lot of Ivy Leagues and like 4. I got- 4.0 GPA by the way. Um, and I did accept, I did get accepted to them, but I just couldn't afford it because like most of it is just like what, 50,000, 40 grand or like, 70 beans and I'm just 70 like, beans and 70,000 beans mm. and I'm just like oh my god I cannot afford this so I just tend to just go with the one that I can afford but then the college that I go to now it's like I can't even afford it because of the like I already I already own money and they be on some bullshit they be on literally they be mm. on some bullshit so I have to like kind of transfer and see myself where I can afford and my scholarship can, I don't know, can... Send. I feel like that's a big problem. That's why I'm sad about college. That, I feel like that's a big problem where people have the brains to be in any college they want. It's just that money. They ask for a ridiculous amount of money that it's so unrealistic that we will be in debt for probably most of the majority of our lives. Say if you go to like, what? And then looking for a job. In yeah, that's another thing. Like that's we'll graduate from college, but we'll, we won't be guaranteed a, a job. Yeah. You'll still be looking for a job for like who knows how long. Like sometimes you have to actually transfer out of your state so you can find a job yeah, exactly that you would want. Like I have um my brother like like it sucks looking for a job because most of the jobs that they're hiring is in Texas or in maryland or anywhere and it just kind of sucks because then you want to be with your family because you're but your family's in new jersey so it kind of like you so it kind of sucks that you have to move mm -hmm. and that's the thing about college is like i as much as i love school like i wish everything could be free because my financial aid like they can't offer me like a dollar like they really can't give me a dollar for financial aid because they think that my parents make a good amount of money mm -hmm. and like they just don't know like oh, i'm sorry buddy what happened what do you want he wants attention yeah oh <laughs> yeah buddy Hey, hey. No bacon for Relax. you, buddy. No, 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 no. No, no bacon. But yeah, I feel like once you have money, you can get away and do anything you want in this world. To be honest. Mm -hmm. You could commit a crime, you know people, you got money, you're good. Mm -hmm. You want to get into the schools, you're good. You need a job, <laughs> you don't need a job because you're rich. You have all the money in the world. Oh, you know what I noticed? A lot of people that have money, make money, that are rich, they become very depressed because they don't have something to look forward to do in life. Like, they don't have a goal because they already have everything that they want, yeah. which is crazy. That's crazy. sad. But then it's like, you can do so many things with that money. Like, you can donate it. Like, you can donate some money for this charity or, like, 
anything more. Mostly for the birds, right? Because you deserve a little delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. And like, and most people who um, who are rich, they become really greedy with their money. Like, you can put him down because then he's gonna start eating the bacon. <laughs> no, he's trying to get to you to go to the bacon. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> he's like, no, 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 don't let me down, don't let me down. No, 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 no. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his bacon. God damn, Grizzly. Okay, he needs to go back. He's like, no, 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 no. Go. He's like, damn it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Moral of the story is you got money, you're living good. Alright, yes, once again, I did forget to do another outro, don't blame me. I'm still new to this vlogging thing, making videos, IRL and stuff like that. But if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys are enjoying the more IRL videos, vlogs, me going places, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and don't forget to comment and leave below anything that you guys want us to do. Until next time, peace out. Chucky Beats!